Hello everyone, Prince Entity here, and I'm back with another useful mods video. Many viewers commented on my short video asking what mods do I use, so I'm making this video about top 5 new mods I use in my videos nowadays. So let's get into the video. So the first mod is called AK-47. I got plenty of comments asking how to get that AK-47 that always carry on my back. So basically it's a mod I use, but in my opinion it's a mod which ruined the game because Red Dead Redemption 2 takes place in 1899, and in 1899 there's no AK-47. Using AK-47 make game feel like some futuristic game. So the second mod is called Bank Robbery. After completing the game 100% we don't have anything to do in game. But after installing this mod you can rob banks in all towns and cities. If you've ever pointed a gun at a bank teller in vanilla and then been highly disappointed that nothing happens, this mod is for you. Now you can force them to open the vault, after which you can silently crack or blow open the safes containing lootable money and gold. Get into the bank and you will get instructions how to rob the bank. Follow the instructions and rob the bank. It is fun and you can play for hours. I don't know why Rockstar Games don't add these features but modders work hard to make them make more enjoyable. Now, let's get into the another mod. So the third mod is called Pickpocket. Basically it's a fun mod. After installing this mod you can pickpocket any NPC without losing honor and without getting one. Welcome, huh? To use this mod go Watch near it. to any NPC and you can see a new option called Pickpocket. Press on Pickpocket and you'll get all the stuff he has. It is fun and adds a little realism to the game. And if you're enjoying this video, please support me by subscribing the channel. Now let's move to another mod. So the fourth mod is called Cinematic Camera. Red Dead Redemption 2 has several mods available. Just like with other popular PC games, mods can be bountiful. However, in particular, one mod is starting to make rounds online. Players might want to check out the new Cinematic Camera mod. Rockstar Games has developed Red Dead Redemption 2 to be more of a cinematic experience. There are plenty of cutscenes that settle players into a new thrilling mission for the campaign narrative. However, if you want a new look into the game during these moments, then this mod will give you different shot cuts. Essentially, these shot cuts are mapped onto your keyboard, in which case you can toggle between the different presets. You'll have the standard developed camera positions for the game along with modified versions. Players can toggle between first and third person camera positions. There's also a free cam position which should hopefully give players a better look at whatever the game scene brings up. Now let's move to last mod. So the fifth mod is called Banking the Old American Art. Banking the Old American Art, a banking mod gives in-game banks a purpose. Now you can deposit your money to not lose it when you die. The mod aims to add a little realism to the game. When you die, you lose all the money you had in your pockets. To avoid this happening, you can deposit it to a bank and it will keep it safe for you. You simply enter one of the supported banks and then using the in-game prompts you manage your resources. At the bottom you can see the amount of money stored in the bank. So that's for today, hope you enjoyed video. Don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching.